work as an EMS worker here in Brookhaven today or an ambulance driver, whatever you want to call it. So I am on duty. I got my ambulance right here. And bro, I'm already getting a call and it's coming from way over there. Okay, let's go head over to the caller and see what's going on real quick. And we got to put on the emergency lights and maybe even the sirens as well and turn on the headlights. And as you guys can see, we're not really lucky with the weather today. It's like almost like it's foggy and it's raining. It kind of seems like it would start snowing, but I'm not really sure. And bro, is it coming from the mall? Bro, it's literally coming from the mall. Okay, I didn't even know that. Okay, let's go ahead and shut off the sirens and let's go ahead and get out. And you know what? We can open up the back already, but let's go ahead and see what's going on first. Oh no, it seems like this dude has been working out too hard and he has probably like collapsed or something like that. That's not good at all. My foot hurts. I see, sir. Did we maybe lose the weight on it or what happened? Okay, so that's good. He didn't collapse. Uh, I thought almost he collapsed, but it seems like he just dropped some weight on his foot. Yeah, I can't walk. Okay, hold on. Hold on, sir. Uh, I'm just going to be running back into the ambulance and grab a bed from it. There we go. And I think I'm actually going to be putting him into this bed right here because he has obviously hurt his foot and he's saying he can't walk, which kind of makes sense. So yeah, let's go ahead and get in on top of this bed right here and then start transporting him over to the hospital. And then we're going to be doing some x-ray work and see what's going on with this guy on the inside. You know, we've got to be careful and make sure that we catch everything that is wrong with this dude. Okay, so now he's just going to be sitting in the back of the ambulance. Hop in, sir. Okay, there we go. And bro, his foot is kind of glitched in there. But yeah, I think it's going to be safe and sound in there. And bro, why can't I close it up? Dude, is it all bugged up? I'm not really sure. Is it closing? No, okay, I'm not sure. Maybe I need to be in it. Okay, so I need to sit inside of the ambulance to actually close it, which is kind of weird. I would think I would just be able to like open it and close it as I wish but yeah I guess it got like auto closing not sure anyways let's go to get it parked up right by the emergency deliveries uh place right here and let's go to open it up get this dude back on the bed and now let's go ahead and bring him into the x-ray room because we need to check out what's wrong with him okay there we go here we got the x-ray machine hopefully he will get in there we go okay it's getting in and now we'll pop up on this screen what is wrong with him hey 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 doctor is that a doctor or is that a patient I think that is a patient Tom bro I was hoping I was getting some doctor help but obviously i'm not okay so he has hurt his what what is that dude i'm not i'm not really sure like his hip and his arms is kind of messed up i don't see anything on the foot am i going to be okay yeah sir we just gotta fix you up okay let's go ahead and check his pulse and stuff like that okay there we go okay so his pulse seems fine i should have checked that earlier but i kind of forgot hey dude that's the wrong patient bruh okay let's go ahead and get him onto the bed and i think i'm going to be bringing him into the surgery room and perform a little surgery surgery on him. There we go. Here he is at the surgery bed. And bro, where did all the equipment go, man? Did they remove the equipment? That is so foul, dude. They can't remove the equipment from me. Bro! Okay, well, I guess I just gotta find some equipment then. Okay, let's go and start bandaging the patient up. Okay, sir, come with me. Come with me, my man. Okay, so he has bandaged up. Let's just go ahead and bring him in here. And I think I'm just going to be, be yeah, let him sit on the bed here. Thanks so much for the help. Yep. Oh, uh, no worries, my man. Uh, a doctor will follow you up. So you can just go ahead and chill in the bed. And yeah, sooner or later, a doctor will show up and take a look at you. And yeah, actually write you out of this hospital. So yeah, see you around, dude. Good luck. Good luck. Okay. Okay, let's go and close the curtains for some privacy from that for that dude right there and let's go and keep on moving guys because we got a lot of work to do today and now we would close up okay so now it's actually working i think it was just a bit glitched out we can go ahead and turn off the sirens and the emergency lights and bro is somebody sitting in the back here I Get in the bed, ma'am. Oh, bro, that's not good. She's saying she got explosive diarrhea. Holy cow. I think I'm just going to be handing her some vitamins for that. Let's go ahead and bring her into the bed. And we gotta get some vitamins because she needs to be nice and healthy and have a healthy stomach. Okay, come here. Come here and grab a few vitamins. Okay, so she desperately needs some vitamins because she got explosive diarrhea, which is not good at all, dude. Thank you. Yep, no worries. Okay, good luck, ma'am. Oh, dude, I'm getting a call. I'm getting a call. Okay, so I need to head over to the call. Holy cow, holy cow, holy cow cow. Dude, this is such a busy day, man. Let's go and close up the back and get in and turn on the emergency lights and respond to this call right here. Holy baba, dude, I'm not getting a lunch break today, it seems like. And where is this call coming from? Is it coming from the yard or is it coming over from the summer camp? I don't really know. We just have to go over there and see what's going on. Let's see. Hopefully it's on land. And no, it's not on land, dude. It's literally 
literally on the yacht. That makes it so much more difficult. Okay, so I think I'm just going to be parking up the ambulance right here. There we go. And I think I actually need to take a canoe out to the yacht. Oh, bro, this is such a weird call. But anyways, we just gotta make it work, dude. That's my job. We have to endure each and every situation that we meet upon. So, yeah, let's go ahead and park the canoe right here. There we go. And enter the yacht. And there we got him. Okay, so it seems like we got a dude chilling, eating Doritos. Okay, what's wrong, my man? My tummy hurts. Too much Doritos. Dude, does this guy got diarrhea as well? <laughs> dude, everyone got diarrhea. Okay, I see, sir. But can you walk at least? Hopefully, this guy can walk. Please say you can walk because we're stuck on waters, dude. Yeah, but I need a hospital to chill out in. Okay, yep. Come with me. Come with me, my man. I do got a canoe right here unless somebody has stolen it. Nope. Okay, we still got the canoe. Okay, jump in a canoe, my man. Let's go. Let's go. We gotta make it over to the ambulance. And, bro, I really do like the new ambulance here in Brookhaven. It's kind of more realistic and a lot more spacious. And with the doors, you can actually close up. It's just a lot more realistic. So, I really do like this ambulance. It's been a joy working with it so far, but we still got a lot of calls. I have eaten five bags of Doritos. Whoa, dude. That's a lot of Doritos. I think this dude really, really like Doritos, dude. <laughs> Dude, that guy is crazy. Why are you eating so much Doritos? Just take a little chill pill, dude. Just relax with the Doritos. You can wait like a couple of hours and then maybe eat another bag. I don't know, dude. I'm just trying to help him. But you can't eat five bags of Doritos and expect your tummy to be fine, dude. You're obviously gonna get a lot of tummy aches from that. But anyways, let's go and bring him over to the hospital. This dude needs some help. And I think I'm just going to be doing the same like I did with the other girl. Let him chill out on a bed. Give him some vitamins, you know, to help with the tummy. And yeah, that's... Then we can go ahead and move on. So let's go and bring him in. And yeah, this dude can actually walk on his own, which is pretty good. So I like that a lot. Let's go ahead and bring him in for a little check though, because we got to check his vitals. So let's go ahead and check his pulse. Stand here for me, sir. I'm not finished with you. Stand here, dude. Why is he lying in a bed? I'm trying to check your pulse here. We're going to check your vitals, my man. Okay, there we go. Okay, so his heart is obviously healthy. And it seems like his lungs is good too on the back here. Yep. Am I healthy? Yes, you are, dude. You're just a little bit bloated from all the Doritos. So here we go. Here's some vitamins. Oh. Yep, grab the vitamins, sir. There we go. Okay, just eat a couple of those and chill out on the bed and you should be fine. Thanks. Yeah, no worries, my man. A duck will follow you up. So try to relax for now and yeah, just chill on the bed and yeah, try to reduce the bloating. Okay, so there we go. Let's go close up the grab lines for privacy and it seems like the other patients have already been written out. That's good. So it seems like the doctor is doing a good job. So let's go and close up the back here and yeah, let's go and turn off the yeah, emergency lights. And you know what? We do got some spare time. So let's go and do a little patrol around the city of Brookhaven and see if everything is fine here. Let's see. It seems like everyone is doing fine. I don't see anybody passed out on the street, which is good. Uh, nothing going on here. Nope. Sweet. Okay, let's go and take a little patrol around the city centrum and see if anything is going on here. Uh, nope. Okay, nothing weird going on. Nice. Oh, dude. Okay, so it's looking pretty clean here in Brookhaven today. Nothing weird is going on. Oh, dude, I'm getting another call. Oh, where's that coming from? I'm not really sure. It's coming from over at the farms. Uh, anyways, let's go to respond. Let's go to uh, turn on the emergency sirens and stuff like that and respond to this caller. And where is it coming from? Dude, it's literally coming from over at the farms. And bro, the police car almost crashed into me. Oh, dude, that was almost an accident. Anyways, we're closing in and look at this. Okay, so we do got a dude in the barn right here. He's just sitting and chilling and let's go to see what's wrong with this dude. Hey, sir, what's going on, my man? What you doing in there? You just called me. I fell down from the second floor. Okay, I see. Come with me, my man. Let's go ahead and bring him into the bed right here. So he fell from the second floor. His feet are obviously gonna hurt a lot. So let's go and close up the back and bring him over to the hospital. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And bro, am I getting another call? Dude, this is such a busy day. Oh, dude. I'm not really sure if I can handle that many calls, bro. Hopefully I will get, be getting some help from some other people as well. I don't know. Let's just go ahead and bring this dude in and get him bandaged up. And hopefully a doctor will help him. And yeah, I'm not really sure what's going to be happening with that call over there. But yeah, let's just go ahead and bring him on this bed right here and get him fixed up. Dude, this has been such a busy day over at the hospital and bro, it just fell off. <laughs> there we go. We're bandaging him and it should be good. Let's go ahead and bring him onto this bed again and bring him over to the chill out bed. So there we go. Let's go ahead and bring him in here and let him rest. Okay, a dog will follow you up. Uh, just relax for now, sir. Thanks. 
Thanks for the help. Yep, no worries, no worries. So Caleb's gonna close the blinds. And bro, what is this dude doing here? Okay, so I think the other guy was helping the other caller, which is good. So the police officers are actually helping out. That's nice. So it's not that much load for me. Okay, sweet, dude. So people are actually helping out here. That's nice. It's nice to see the whole community come together and try to help out. So yeah, guys, this has been a super busy day as an EMS or ambulance worker or whatever you want to call it. So yeah, guys, that's gonna be it for today's episode. I really hope you enjoyed this one. And if you did, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.